Welcome to this session on creating a custom drawing title callout. So in this session, I'm going to go through how you can customize some of the detailing symbol styles, the actual cells that make up the graphics, and we will do that with a drawing title. So again, I'm starting up Open Buildings Designer. I'm going to do this in my company workspace, the XYZ workspace that was set up on the custom configuration and I've set the work set to the project template. And again, this is stored in a DGN Live, so we're again going to create a new DGN Live. So I'm going to select New File. Again, by default, it's going to put me in the project template. So I'm simply going to go back to my W drive and under the CE configuration folder, open the workspaces, select the XYZ workspace, and open the standards folder and go into the DGN Live folder. And I'm going to create a new DGN Live, which I'm going to name as Detailing Symbol Styles. Now that portion of the name is important. It needs to, to start with that name in order to be recognized as a Detailing Symbol Styles library. And then I'm going to put underbar XYZ to identify it as my company standards and then the .dgn live extension so that it is recognized as a DGN live. And I'll go ahead and save that and it's going to open that new file. Now, if you wanted to change all the graphics for, for all of the detail callouts that includes all of the different callouts that can be used on the drawings, you might want to actually just copy the detailing symbol styles DGN Live that's delivered in the in the delivered regional data set, uh, and then you would and then just go in and, and modify the models that are within there. This DGN Live is actually acting as a cell library as well, and so there are a number of models which contain all the graphics for those different uh, detailing symbol styles as cells. We've created a new file, so currently we only have our our design model, but what we're going to do since we are only overriding uh, one of the styles, which will be the drawing title, we're just going to import the models that we need or the cells that we need and then modify them. So I'm going to use the import model icon on the models dialog. It will have me browse for a, another file where those models exist. So for that, I'm going to go to my C drive to the program data folder and under Bentley open buildings designer connect edition configuration data sets and I'm going to select the data set US you could select any regional data set and from there open the DGN live folder you will probably need to change your extension here to all files so you can see the DGN live extensions and I'm going to select the detailing symbol styles DGN live that exists there. This is the delivered DGN live. And we'll go ahead and open that. That's where we're going to import the model from. And you can see there's a number of models in there. These are the different cells that make up the graphics of our different detailing symbol styles. Since we're only going to modify the drawing title, I only need two of these models. One would be the title text and using my control key I can select the other one would be the drawing title bubble and I'll select OK and if I now open up the models dialog you can see I have, I have two new models in here the drawing title bubble and the title text and now I could modify those. First thing I'm going to do however is rename these so that I can identify them as the company standards that I have created. So I'm going to just right click and use rename and prefix these with my company initials or XYZ. So I'm going to start with the XYZ drawing title bubble. I'm going to double click on that. Let me close the model and you can see there's the, the standard graphics we have for the drawing title bubble. So it has the graphics of the bubble and it has 
a text field, which is the drawing identifier and the sheet name. Now, it's those text fields that are automatically populating during the, the process of creating drawings and sheets. I don't actually want to change those text fields. I want to maintain those text fields, but what I probably want to change is the, the attributes associated with that text. So for instance, I might want that drawing identifier to use the, the XYZ title text style that we just set up. So I could go up to my text tools and use a change text attributes. And I'm going to select, and in the, the dialog, I want to change the text style. So I'm going to change it to XYZ drawing title. And you can expand, there are more options here. Now that the style will change the font, the size, it will change everything associated with that style. So one thing I might want to override there would be the justification. It looks like it's using a center bottom justification and that's, I probably want to maintain that. If you remember, when we set up the drawing title, we used a, a left bottom and we don't want to, to change that. And then I simply modify it by selecting the text. Now that's a larger size text. You may note it, it goes outside of, of the bubble, but that's okay because when that actually goes into the drawing, it's going to be a single character, a single number, and it will fit in there just fine. It's just that right now it's showing you the name of the text field. And then we'd want to do the same with the sheet name. Now the, the sheet name, we may want a little bit smaller text. So perhaps we want to use our XYZ drawing notes. And again, I probably want that justification to be center top and I could select that. And you can see it's changed the font based on what we had set up with the text style. And if I wanted to change those graphics, I could just change the line work and change that. Now, the graphics are typically on the default level. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a smart match of the level to make sure I don't change that. And then I could use place smart line if I wanted to change any of the graphics. Perhaps rather than a circle, I would like a square. And so I could just draw that here. And so then I'll have a, a square rather than a circle. So whatever graphics you wish to have. Then I'm going to go back to the models and select the second cell, which is just the, the title text. And this just has the text for the name and the scale. And again, in this case, I probably just want to change those text attributes. So I'm going to again use the change text attributes. I'm going to start with the drawing title and I'm going to use the left bottom, which was our default, so probably don't need to override that. And then for the scale, I'll use my XYZ drawing notes, and in this case, I'm going to use left top and change that. Now, if you would want your, your drawing title to have a fixed length, you might actually want to draw a line within here. So again, we're going to use our place smart line and I want to make sure my, my level is on that default level. A little shortcut key in here, uh, Q1 will bring up the, the attributes toolbar and we can make sure that we are set to the default level. And we don't need to, to worry about line weight or style. We're actually going to set that when we, we set up the actual style, which is a little bit different than setting up the cells. At this point, we're only setting up the cells. Now I wanna get there on that, that grid point there. I, could, I can do that by turning on my grid lock. And then just left click. And those grids are actually at, uh, inches in this case. It might be different in, in a millimeter file, but um, in any case, I can draw that line six inches just by snapping to the grids. 
And if I actually wanted that piece of text there, that detail scale, to be down at this end, I could do that by simply changing the attribute. So instead of left top, I might want to do right top. Turn off that grid lock. Which is going to move it here, but then I'll be able to select it and slide it down to the end of that line. So once you have your graphics set up the way you want, that's, that's the first part of setting up a detailing symbol style. In another session, we'll actually set up the, the style when we are setting up our drawing templates. In the next session, we'll take a look at creating a custom data group annotation library and tag. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.